So in front of me is a car that I have bought for £650. It's wrecked. It needs a lot of work. And I'm going to see if I can get it road legal within today. In this video, I'm going to have this car back on the road, looking good and potentially ready to be sold. And I want to see if I can make a bit of profit on it. Let's see if it's doable. So this is my new to me 2012 Audi A3 S line. It has 119,000 miles. It's only got one key no service history or paperwork at all so with that being said i'm gonna see if i can repair get this car 100 road legal and safe and still make a profit by selling it on so stay tuned throughout the video where i get this ready to be put back on the road So as you can see, this car has taken a whack on the passenger side. Um, I've already had to take off the lock, lock of walnut just to look underneath, just to inspect the damage so I knew which parts I needed to get. And the damage isn't as bad as it actually looks. So uh, I'm gonna start by jacking it up, taking the wheel off, and I'll show you all the damage underneath. So with the wheel off, the only damage I can physically see is a bent shock, which has sent the wheel in to hit and get trapped underneath the, the strut. All the wishbone, all the trap rod, everything just seems perfectly straight. It'd be a completely different story when I get it aligned, but to me, it looks quite good. So the interior of this car is actually quite tidy. It looks like it's been well looked after. Um, I got all the parts in the back to fix the car. You can see it's got all the half leather S-line seats. Everything literally works as it should. I think this car genuinely has been quite looked after throughout his life. Obviously you've got a bit of dirt on the doors from Copart in their dirty yard, but other than that is uh, absolutely fine. Copart did say that the car starts and drives. It definitely doesn't drive with that wheel like that, but it, it starts. So we got a lot of uh, engine faults and brake faults. So what I'm, what I'm doing is I've plugged it into VCDS. It's running a scan on the whole car down to the radio, the aircon, etc. And uh, we'll see what see what underlying faults this car has i don't think it'd be much i'm pretty sure it's all going to be due to that front end um and probably a couple of little minor bits but that's my goal to get this absolutely fault free today and run in and drive in in a straight line so we'll see how i get on so as you can see there is actually a lot of red so it's saying abs brakes if I go down to the brakes, ABS brakes, it's got two faults on the brakes, supply voltage terminal 30, I'm not sure what that one is, but um, ABS wheel speed sensor fault, front left, which is where the damage is on the front left, so that makes perfect sense. Um, HVAC, let's have a look what this one is. is a lot of mumble jumble. So crash, crash sensor for side airbag, crash sensor, front passenger side, rear driver side, rear passenger side. But all the seat belts seem fine. No airbags have deployed. So what I'm gonna do, which is a bit of a shock, how the crash sensor for the airbags have come off. There's no airbag light at all on the dash. So the car nose has been in a knock, but not bad enough to 
do anything. ABS control module, steering assist. That's probably down to the same ABS sensor. I think we're on to a winner. There's one for the radio control mod module incorrectly coded. That's because there's actually a Bluetooth device hardwired in. So I'm gonna clear all these codes, clear all DTCs and see what one comes back. So since clearing the faults, all we've got is ABS and steering assist, which is down to the braking system as well. So happy days, there's no, no airbag fault. I think the car just sort of had a bit of a panic mode when, when it got knocked. The airbags didn't deploy, so all the seat belts are absolutely fine. So yeah, let's uh, finish with stripping the car down and assessing any more damage. So I know I don't look pretty, but I've managed to get everything off other than this arch line in. I know that's broke, but I'll use my plastic staple gun to uh, just put it back together. It's just a quick fix. It looks like it's about to rain, but uh, perks are doing it on the driveway. So I'm gonna start by putting that headlight back in, get the wing on, and then I'll start putting together all the, uh, the new strut and putting all the hub back together. But yeah, hopefully it'll be on all four wheels and able to be driven today. So once the headlight's in place, it's just three T30 screws just to secure it down. Um, along with the wing is, this is the same again, it's probably 10 or 12 T30 screws. Once that's in place, you're good to go. So it's now the next day. I, uh, I realized I bought a new memory card for my camera and I bought, bought one off eBay. Turns out it was a fake Samsung one, so everything I've recorded just wasn't happening. But um, I've got the Audi back together. I'm not sure where I've recorded it up to. But it's got a new wing, new shock. Don't know if you can see it in there, but there's a new shock in there. Everything's buttoned up. All I've got to do is replace the door. Um, but yeah, like the front bumper has definitely seen better days. It's got like a bit of a crease here, but I'm going to be selling this car dirt cheap anyway. So this, oh, there's a bus going past. So, uh, yeah, it's going up for sale for dirt cheap, but I'm going to keep it for a couple of months to make sure there's no mechanical issues. So it's perfect. I just also want to say a massive thank you because on my previous video turbo in my mark 5 golf the views have just skyrocketed up um so yeah it's good seeing that uh my content's being watched F for me i think is useless but you're wasting your time watching my time so thank you very much and if you can subscribe on this video that'd be great i'm so close to my thousand subscribers so if this is what you like seeing, just quick repairs within like a 20 minute video or so. Or if you like full on projects like this, because there's many more videos that I've got to do on this, then uh, make sure you smash that subscribe button and stay updated on what's next to come. So now everything on that passenger side buttoned up, I just want to take it for a quick drive around the block. It says service due. And I know for a well while that that ABS light is going to be going to be on. Yeah, there we go. I've still got to do the ABS sensor on that side because the cable would split. One's in the post is on his way. So I think I was wrong at the start of the video when I said it's going to be done today. But hey ho. So yeah, I'm just going to take it for a spin around the block. It's all insured before anyone all got insurance MOT and stuff so the first test drive went as expected there was no knocking it drove straight the tracking definitely needs doing though because the steering wheel is pretty much like that <laughs> um, so yeah on the next video I got to get the tracking done get it MOT'd get that door fitted so unfortunately it's not just a one video wonder um, I'm going to get it 
perfectly road legal, safe, and looking good as well. So it's going to need a full clean and a detail inside and out. And then um, potentially put it up for sale. Um, like I said, I'm going to keep it for a couple of months, but I don't really do much driving anymore anyway, especially in a car. Um, but my main priority is getting that golf on the road, getting it mapped and sending it. So if you've enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. Um, and yeah, I'll see you on our next video. Thanks for watching.